welcome our chairperson uh, Obaya and uh, levels uh, from the branch to this ceremony. But before we proceed, I'll invite um, Dr. Charles Dunkwa to give us an opening prayer. Okay, please let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. And we thank you for making it possible for us to conclude our elections, despite the differences between us. Father, we pray for your mercy on us so that we will forgive each other and come together as one family. We pray for the incoming executives that we give them the strength and wisdom to unite all of us and take the Washington DC chapter to a higher level. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. 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 That's good. We also want to welcome iPhone and NPP Columbus chapter to uh, for joining us for this ceremony. Um, so before, so we have a very short program. We would have a, a speech from our honorary uh, chairperson. Then we would do the introduction of our new executives. We swear them in, and then we'll get a short uh, message from the new chairperson. Then we will we'll close. So I would invite Madam Obaya to give us a, a short speech, Madam. Madam, you are muted. Madam, Madam, Madam Chair is muted. Yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi, Madam. Good. Oh, you look good. That's why I want the pressure. Felix, we cannot see you. Felix, we can't, we, we can't see you. I want to try and get a screenshot. Perfect. Can perfect. You see me? But I'm telling you, I can see you. Yes. Now I can, can see, see Felix you too. Okay. It's only okay. the level that I'm missing, but I think he's having. Yeah. So I'll, I'll try and get a screenshot of everybody. Ah, okay. We'll, we'll get to that point. So let's hear, Madam. Okay. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, inviting me to give a short, I would say, exhortation to uh, the new elected officers of Washington, D.C. I know it's been a very hard time for the entire chapter to have to go through the cycle that you went through in 2018. But what I will say is I will encourage all of you to you know, continue to work hard to build a stronger Washington DC chapter. Washington DC is one of our finest uh, chapters uh, in the branch. And for us to see it go down the way it did, I think we have every opportunity at this point as leaders to make sure that we salvage uh, that image and make Washington chapter great again. We are solidly behind the branch and the chapter is new leadership. We are solidly behind you. Whatever outstanding issues that are there, we are committed to helping the chapter resolve them and start to reach out to each and every member you know, to bring more people into the fold. I know MPP is a very attractive party. If we, we do our things right and we let our bylaws and our rules guide us in what we do, we will always be on the side of the right or side of right and principle. Let, uh, let that guide us as we, we take the mantle of leadership to lead this uh, chapter going forward. Uh, I know it's not gonna be an easy start, but with the commitment, with the passion, uh, I believe that we can get to the destination that we all desire. To see a united Washington DC with strong, very resilient uh, uh, leaders who will do right by the people, who will do right by its members, who will do right by the branch and also who will do right by the MPP as a party. We have a very challenging election ahead of us, which is 2024. And I believe that if we are guided by the fact that that is going to be the election that will test our resolve, that will test our resilience, that will test how prepared we are, it is going to be 2024. And we need each and every one, we need everyone on, on board to make sure we prepare ourselves very well to execute uh, election 2024. 
uh, for the leaders, I say congratulations to all of you, the chairman, Sir James, sorry, uh, to the uh, organizer for today, to the treasurer, Mr. Hini Bediapo, who has been one of the pillars of this of this chapter over the years. And, and we believe that with his uh, experience as a member who has been in this party for long, understands this history, uh, I believe he's going to be one of the, the people that you may rely on to, to, help, uh, to help you move forward. And also I'll say kudos to the elections committee. Uh, it, it's been tough but you stood on the side of principle and right. And today, we've all seen uh, the, the, the efforts that you put into it come to fruition. So I want to thank uh, our own brother, Levels, Raijima, and uh, uh, Mr. Kofinyame, and Dr. Dangpa, because we are very strong, unshakable, and unmovable pillar of Washington DC chapter. Goes way back. I cannot mention the history of Washington, D.C. and MPP USA without mentioning Dr. Dan Kressler and that, uh, his contribution to building this branch and building this party. And I believe his wisdom will be needed uh, in leadership. You can count on him any time of day uh, to make sure we build a strong Washington, D.C. chapter. So, uh, Madam Kwa, we say thank you, kudos to you. And each and every member who is present here, uh, I say thank you so much for believing in the system that was put in place, supporting the branch, supporting the mother party for us to reach this destination. So we thank you all, we say God bless you, and we, we continue to give our Unflaging support to the entire leadership and to the entire leadership of Washington DC chapter. And I believe we are going to probably have more interactions so that we don't leave things hanging for a very long time for us to get to uh, the state that we, we had in. There's so many chapters, from time to time, they will, they will invite the leadership of the branch you know, for questions for ideas. And I believe that the new leadership can fall on that so that if there are any pressing issues that are outstanding, we don't wait till election cycle before all those fester. Uh, but I can tell you that on behalf of MPP USA branch, on behalf of, of MPP Ghana, under the leadership of our chairman, Lee, and our general secretary, John Ward, and uh, say thank you, congratulations to each and every one of you. Wish you well in your new endeavors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. I think that we also want to express our gratitude to you for the support that you've given us throughout uh, this period. And uh, we will take you on, and I would urge the new executive to really take madam on and invite her to the chapter more and more we have a very wonderful chapter and this is the time to unite and grow yes we've gone through an acrimonious period but it is time to come together and put together the past and then move on so uh, we will move on with the agenda the next one is to introduce our new executives as we are all aware under the leadership of our uh, ec chair uh right Hima, the levels, I think he dropped off. He has power problems in Ghana. We started this process, uh, we opened the nominations, uh, we got the nominations that we got by the close of day. And uh, as at the end of the voting period uh, yesterday night, we had Janice um, come out as the uh, elected chair. Uh, and uh, the three other positions that we received nominations for were all on a post. And uh, according to our bylaws and constitution, if anyone stands on a post as a close of the nominations, they are elected. And so as of now, 
uh, we have four positions that have been filled. According to our bylaws, the new executive would have to fill out the nest of the vacant positions by appointment. So we'll be looking forward to that. But the, currently we have for chairman for the, uh, the chapter, Janice Asari Bediakun. Uh, we have for secretary, Edward Okon Checheku, and for treasurer, Felix Ohini Bediakun, and then for women's organizer, Kate Forson. We want to congratulate all of you and uh, introduce you all to our branch executives, to Madam Chair and to our uh, Honorable Secretary. These are the newly uh, elected executives of the Washington Metro chapter. Uh, we formally introduce them to you and present them to you for swearing in. Augustine, hey. hand over to you. Okay. I didn't hear my name as uh, the organizer uh, for the day. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking, I don't know, Kojo, did you, did you apply? Yes, I did apply everything and yeah, paid I thought, everything. I thought, yeah, I thought we made a mistake by omitting his name. I, I think so too. Yes, I, I was going to bring bring it up, but I thought because Kojo Day was missing on the list, but then he applied for organizers, so he also went unopposed. I, uh, <clears throat> Janice, Give me a minute to confirm. Oh, okay. Yes. No, I was reminding Janis that yes, Kwajoda paid his nomination fee to me. Okay. And when I didn't see his name, I wrote to Janis. Yeah. And Janice told me that he is on the Zoom. So Kwajoda paid his money. He sent his nomination forms, and he was declared eligible. Both 2020 and 2021 list, he was on it. So he is eligible, and he is based on what I had, he is the uh, contestant for organizer. Why yeah. do my fault? Just give me a minute to confirm from my database. Just closed the file a minute ago. It's in there, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yes, it is true. Could you dare submit his form 14th April at 10.42 p.m. for organizer. He meets everything, paid the fee, meets all the requirements. My fault, I apologize. And so we also, Madam Chair and Augustine, we also introduce Koju there as the organizer uh, for the branch. And we can also put a correction on the platform later. Yeah. Right. Okay, so Augustine, your turn. Yeah. Augustine, your turn there. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You know, these, these I'm always the bogeyman. Oh, I'm also one of them. Before I swear in the newly elected executive, I need to inform you that I'm standing for re election as a branch secretary. And Washington should support, I guess, you know, it's, it's part of us and comes to our meetings and I always answers our questions. So we have inside for information here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, to the elected executive, could you stand up? Even though I can, I, I can see you, but you cannot see me. And there's one person <laughs> driving, so he can't stand up. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, but can all of you raise your, your right hands? The one driving, if you cannot just 
don't force yourself to. I, I surely will. Okay. Uh, you repeat everything I say after me. So when I say I, you say I, and then you mention your name, and then you repeat everything that follows. <clears throat> Are we ready? Yes. Yep. Yes. I. Ah, having been elected, having been elected, as part of the leadership, as part, as part, of, as the part leadership. of the leadership of the MPP USA Washington DC Metro Area Chapter. Of, of the NPP USA, Washington DC Metro Area Chapter. To serve a four year term. To serve a four year term. Of the chapter. Of the chapter. Pledge to serve. Pledge to serve. The party faithfully. The party faithfully. Faithfully. And with commitment, and with, and with commitment, commitment to promote the good name, to promote the good name, to promote the good name of the party, of, of, the, of, party. The, party. of the party, here in the Washington DC metro area, here yeah. in the Washington DC yeah. metro area. In the Washington metro area. And outside of this area. And, and outside, outside of this area. Of this area. And outside of this area. I pledge. I, I pledge, pledge, pledge. To follow. To, to follow, follow, follow. And abide. And, and abide, abide, abide. By the constitution of MPP Ghana. By the constitution of MPP Ghana. MPP Ghana. The bylaws of MPP USA. The bylaws of MPP USA. And the Washington DC Metro Area chapters. And the Washington DC Metro Area chapters. And any all and any other regulations. And any other regulations. And rules. And rules. As a party. As the party. party from time to time, from, from, from time, time to time, may promulgate. May, may promulgate. I pledge. I pledge, I pledge to serve. To serve, serve with dignity. With dignity. With dignity respect, respect. Respect. For the membership of this chapter. For the membership, the membership of this chapter. Of this chapter, of this chapter so help me God. So help, so me, help God. me God. Congratulations Amen. to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Imagine Thank you. I was shaking your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're just been in the house. Thank just been in the yeah. house. Hey, Joe from hey. Ghana. And I urge you all to campaign for uh, General Agbajaza. Yes, campaign. Self campaign manager, Colombo chapter secretary for my name. Thank you. Yes, yes, Danny. Yes. Danny. Welcome, Danny. Yes, Danny. Danny, how are you doing, Danny? Thank you, everybody. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations once again. Thank um, you. I'm good. So we'll open the floor, I'll give the floor to our new chapter chair, Janice, for your acceptance speech. Thank you, Mr. Kofinyame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Madam Chair, Obaya, thank you for accepting to be part and helping this swearing in ceremony. The EC team, Mr. Kofinyame, Mr. Levels as the EC Chair, and Sir Charles Dankwa, thank you for a young man's job because we know it wasn't easy, but you stood firm on principles 
and you made sure the writing was done. Thank you very much. Now, my fellow chapter members, thank you for the confidence installed in us and my new executives. There's been a lot of wranglings, you know, quagmire of insults, insinuations, and a whole lot. But we've been able to see this process through. And I believe in the strength of this chapter that this will just be a fleeting moment and we are going to bounce back strong and we are going to take our rightful place as part of MPP USA, one of the chapters in MPP USA. So thank you for making history on this day as well. I'm not going to make this very, very long. It's just going to be a short acceptance speech. On behalf of our, my executives here, yeah, we accept this nomination. And we know to, this is a servant leadership position. We are not here to lord ourselves over the chapter, but we are here to serve the chapter. And that is what we can commit ourselves and say that is what we are going to do. As executives, we are going to resolve to build this chapter and build unity and cohesion you know, to move the chapter forward. Whatever be the wranglings, one of our goals as we even go to 2024 will be to build this chapter to get the, pop the numbers to help us win the elections in Ghana. So on behalf of my executive, I can promise the chapter chair, the, the chapter members, Madam, Madam, EC, uh, Madam Chair Obaya, that we'll do everything that in our power to help MPP USA and also to help MPP Ghana retain power and break the eight come 2024. So with that said, I say thank you to everyone and my leaders and my executives. Let's get re ready to work. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairman. Janice, I uh, want to use this opportunity. I want to thank everybody who made this to this um, short ceremony, swearing in ceremony. We have a new executive. It's a new day. Let's put the past behind us and let's forge ahead and build this chapter. There's a lot of people that belong to this chapter. Our platform has 70 something people. The branch database has 46 people, but I think that we are much more than that. And so this is the time to rally behind and then go and bring everybody. We need to bring everybody and we need to make sure that everybody who comes along pays their dues so that we don't have these issues coming up again and again in here. So once again, thank you, thank you everybody. That's for Felix. So, yeah, thank you, Kofi. And let me chip in something real quick before, you know, that's something that we can do. But mm -hmm. to, to all my executives, we will need to send Kofi pictures, you know, more like a, a bust shot so to him to update the website. So let's please have, you know, those pictures to him. Kofi Nami is also doubles as the IT team for IT, you know, for, team for the branch. So let's all send him pictures so that he can update our, our website, you know, and have the new information. And Kofi, I don't know whether you can take some still pictures of, of the Zoom of everybody, so that way we can also yeah. update the members. If you could do that for us, that would, be, that would be great. Some still pictures of this event, then we can update the members on the platform. Thank you. Right. So before we close, if I can just crave everybody's indulgence one more time, put on your cameras, I'll take one picture for all of us. And Kofi, can, I, can you give me a minute? OK, after we take the uh, picture. Are you going then, to polish um, up? <laughs> <laughs> do we have to sit or do we have to stand? Uh, sit and look nice. <laughs> smile. <laughs> Just smile for me. And then take a couple of shots. Okay. Okay, one more time. Okay, I think it's here. Okay. The PI is here, ready, set, go. All righty, I got everybody. Thank you. Thank you. So just thank one you. or two more advice. So Augustine, the floor. Yeah, thank you. Uh, as a member of this chapter, this chapter being my home chapter, I am ashamed that twice in a row, the chapter has to go through this. It seems like the chapter hasn't learned any lessons from 2017, 2018. And this has been repeated. And this chapter 
seems to be earning the bad boy image within the branch. Hopefully, the new executive would take this chapter out of that image. I was in New York last, last week, Friday. New York had of a little over 100 eligible members who voted. But here we keep dwelling in our past glories that Washington chapter is the best chapter or one of the best chapters in this branch. That has been gone for a long time now. So the new executive have to work hard and bring in more people and make people to read the bylaws of the chapter and the branch and make them to be aware of their responsibilities as members. In four years time, we don't want to hear the same thing anymore. It's not worth it. Thank you. Thank you, General. Thank you. Thank you, General. Thank you, General. Okay, we have come to the end of our swearing in ceremony. Um, thank you all for coming in, especially those who joined us from Ghana, Madam Josephine, and those who are joining us from other chapters. We thank you all for your solidarity. So I will now invite uh, Dr. Damkwa to give us the closing prayer. Okay. Oh, Dr. 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 any piece of advice? Um, I think I think they, they said it all. <laughs> no, but, but but please let me let me, let me is, is Madam is Madam Chair still on before Dr. Dankwa's closing prayer? Is Madam Chair still on? Yes, yeah, she's still on. Oh, Madam yeah, Chair is yeah, still on. I'm so here. I'm so here, please. But Madam <laughs> Chair, let me use this word to, to make one passionate appeal. Mm -hmm. If if the branch is considering increasing the council of elders, is it, as my first. You know, submission as chapter chair, we would want to propose Sir Charles Dankwa. That is, if the branch oh. ever decides to increase the council of elders at the branch level, please consider Sir Charles for us. Thank you. I second it. I second it. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. So, <laughs> let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the leaders that you have given us, Amen. both at the branch level at the chapter level. We pray that you let your wisdom guide their decisions Amen. and move us forward to a better height. We add this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All Thank right, you, see everybody. you all. We don't know what, what, what will come up you know, tomorrow, but uh, so far we are good. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody right, thank, thank you, you. Uh, exactly. I'll, I'll be sending yeah. you private emails on how we we'll move forward so thank you okay. everybody thank you thank you thank you congratulations thank you thank you thank you congratulations from Columbus chapter thank you Danny Danny I'll call you thank you Okay, okay, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. Okay. Yeah. General. All right. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.